I'm Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show, and we're talking with Chloe and Ugla over the film, How Far She Went. So I think the first thing that we got to ask is, tell us a little bit about this film. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's an adaptation of a short story written by Mary Hood, and it's about a, um, a hard-nosed grandmother and her rebellious teenage daughter and they're estranged and um, they get into a fight and the girl runs off and joins the company of some questionable characters and um, the grandmother confronts them and uh, a situation a dangerous situation escalates that uh, forces the grandmother to make a harrowing choice that shatters her world while uniting her and her granddaughter in the process. Now, um, what uh, brought you guys to this project? So this was actually our thesis film at uh, Columbia University. We okay. were there in the uh, the master's film program. Okay. And I mean, is is there any inspiration behind the grandmother? I mean, can you guys relate to something like that? Um. Yeah, I have a very strong relationship with um, with all my grandparents, and it, there are elements that are like sketches from from my grandma or my papa or my nana or different grandparents. You? Uh, for me, well, I um, Chloe originally she uh, actually got the copyright to adapt the story into a short film, and when she approached me, I was immediately really um, captivated by the cinematic prose. Uh, of the short story itself, and coming from a photographic background, I sort of immediately became extremely interested in, in taking on the role of a director. Now, I know it's easy to say that, I mean, you know, the grandmother is obviously the protagonist and, you know, the rebellious daughter, but do you also feel like there might be a little bit of misunderstanding on the, with the teenage, you know, granddaughter that grandma just doesn't understand? Absolutely, absolutely, and I think at the end she comes to realize that grandma knows a lot more than, <laughs> than she, the girl gives her credit for. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, are you, are you hoping that a lot of people identify more with the grandmother and, you know, her sense of morality in the other, with this um, film? I think less her sense of morality and it's more I hope they identify with the relationship between the two women and um, that intergenerational relationship yeah now is this just going to be your thesis film or are you hoping to turn it into a feature um to See, be this determined. is the opportunity to plug it yeah or you know finance you know producer yes we do, we do have the uh, we do have the uh, uh, copyrights for the short story, so we actually we could we could uh, okay. potentially turn this into a feature length film, uh, and I know there's much interest on our side to, to okay. do that. All right, so since we're that nerd show, we're pretty nerdy, and we always like to ask all of our filmmakers a very nerdy question at the end of the interview. And this year's question is simple: If you could be a superhero or a super villain. What powers do you want to have and why? Oh, um, good question. <laughs> yeah, there's something to choose from. There are. Um, my superpowers, if I had any, it would be time travel okay. and teleport. To, to go back and delete those Twitter messages you didn't really want out there? <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> um, well, my uh, my name is Ukla, I'm from Iceland, and it means owl, so I'm going to have to say fly. Uh, I'm going to have to go romantic on this one. <laughs> <it's a good laughs> one. I just feel like there's so much you could do if you could fly. Yeah, yeah. seriously. I could come to Dallas every day. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, and good luck with the film. Thank you. Thanks so much.